So free for everybody to bring the kids. And then, of course, the adults will meet up here to pray. That starts at 6.30. And then I'm sure that maybe some of you thought that because of the weather last week, you might have missed the degreening. Don't worry, we saved it just for you. Uh, the degreening of the church, or the undecorating of the church, will occur today after worship service. So please stick around and help out with that. And then uh, church officers uh, and committees and pastoral annual reports are due to Liz by Wednesday, January 17th. Again, Wednesday, January 17th. So please uh, make sure you get everything into Liz by that time. Uh, Thursday, January 25th, there will be women's Bible study. That will be held at the church. So that's at 10 a.m. here. And then finally, uh, just two weeks away, we have our annual church business meeting, so I will read the notice this morning. The annual church meeting of the First Baptist Church, known in law as the First Baptist Church in Amsterdam, New York, will be held on Sunday, January 28, 2024, immediately after the worship service, for the purpose of Reviewing minutes of the 2023 annual church meeting and other special meetings held in 2023. Presenting and approving published 2023 annual reports from pastors, officers, boards, committees, and organizations of the church. Approving a proposed church budget for 2024. Approving a proposed missions benevolence budget for 2024. Voting on candidates for church officers and members of boards and committees to fill vacancies for 2024, transacting any other business that may legally come before this meeting. Linda E. Whitner, church clerk. Uh, this is the word of our notice. And then I will turn us to uh, call to worship. Before I get there, too, I want to put us in mind uh, that today too, today is Communion Sunday, so we postponed that uh, from last week. And just be mindful this morning when you partake of the Lord's Supper, Communion, of what that took. Uh, it's it's not even it's not only or merely that Christ died, but this is a time for you to confess, for you to reconcile and be to fellowship with Christ and with each other. Christ died, but again, as you'll see soon enough, we have an empty cross, so he rose and he was alive, and that is something for which to be grateful and thankful. So, the communion is not only a somber moment, but it is also a moment of joy, and it is a time of great thanksgiving. So, please uh, prepare your hearts this morning as you worship and as you partake of the communion. Don't partake of it in an unworthy manner, please. All right, that said, let's uh, read the call to worship, and if you please rise for the, out of respect for the reading of God's word. <clears throat> reading John 16, 22. So also you have sorrow, but I will see you again, and your hearts will rejoice, and no one will take your joy from you. Amen. That is a perfect verse for Communion Sunday. Let's pray. Our gracious Heavenly Father, we thank you so much for the blessing of your word. We thank you so much, Lord, for sending your Son into the world. We thank you, Lord, so much for the shedding of his blood, his atoning death on the cross, and his defeat of death in his resurrection and his glorification and ascension and his continual ongoing mediation. Lord, we thank you so much for the comforter that you have sent, the Holy Spirit who allows us to communicate with you through the blood of Christ, your Son. Lord, we thank you so much for your word. And I pray that this morning that our worship will be well-pleasing to you, that it would be glorifying, that it would be a sweet-smelling aroma. Lord, that our hearts would be ready. Our hearts would be ready uh, in not only having to partake of the communion, but also 
in singing to you and glorifying your name and in praising and rejoicing in who you are. Please bless the service. Please bless our guests. Please bless Pastor as he exegetes from your word and speaks to us. As you speak to us through him. I pray all this in your son's name. Amen. Amen. Amen.
Um, so my name is Isaiah, and this is my dad, Dave, uh, my mom, Patty, my wife, Rachel, my daughter, Anna. I just turned one last one. And Elijah and Zephaniah are right next to us, but uh, we're so glad to be here. Uh, thank you guys for letting us come share. Um, uh, so like Pastor said, Jesus. 
And then we found out we had a youth center in the city. He was like, yeah, all right, I want to come down. So um, it's uh, Reese is coming down every uh, weekly. Um, so it's been a blessing the last couple weeks having him. And then uh, bottom, the bottom right here is uh, Gideon Rivera. It's, uh, his grandma lives next door, I think. So they're from Amsterdam, Christian school kid, going to Liberty University online, but now he also has a desire to come share Jesus and just work with people. And uh, it's, it's, that's not even really his thing, like Mr. Outgoing, but like he's totally down with trying to share Christ with people. And, uh, but getting into, what a blessing it is just having a few young people hanging out with him to serve, you know what I mean? Uh, to do the hard labor, like muscles, right? Uh, my back hurts. Can you move that? <laughs> so, uh, uh, I'm only kidding. But uh, they do help, thank God. Um, and then Dean, uh, Dean Pazic, who goes to our church in Perth. And, um, just really cool. Uh, variety is really cool. Having people who are 70 all the way down to about 19 or 20, all just trying to work together, just like our church churches. And, uh, so every so we've been averaging the last couple weeks, like maybe five, seven kids, something like that, every day. Um, which doesn't sound like a whole lot, but uh, there's different people coming in every day. Even, uh, so it's just cool. We have, have a small group of kids every day and we do Bible study with them. We're teaching them. And it's cool seeing them slowly, the influence of the gospel and the scripture, the word of God taking root in their heart. They start understanding and start sharing Jesus with their friends. Uh, I had a young man who's a senior in Amsterdam. He's been coming a lot. His name's Adam. And uh, he came up to me, a couple of me and my dad, a couple weeks ago. He said, Isaiah, I, shared, I asked my friend if he knew Jesus Christ. And he said, Who's that? <laughs> and he said, uh, so, uh, and then he said, I didn't really, he said he didn't know anything, so I just started telling him all sorts of things about Jesus. <laughs> like, that's awesome, Adam, give him a high five. Or, um, it's just cool seeing some of these guys are catching the vision, right? And who knows what God's going to do with some of, these, um, some of these students as they make professions and then decide to get connected to the church and baptize and just start preaching the gospel in their own city with their own family and their own peers. Um, uh, so, we've been, oh, and we've had, I think that number might be from last year, but we've had like up to 25 different, different students a week, so it's been really cool, lots of people coming through the doors, um, uh, had even, uh, it's, just, it's been awesome, so I picked a random week a couple months ago, it was like 23 different kids, it's just like that all the time, just lots of people coming in and out, so it's, it's been cool having friends, bring their other friends too, like, oh, you should come check out this place, I'm like, good job guys, they're going to hear about Jesus, keep it up, like, so, um, so here's some ways that you can help, um, we're, um, we always need snacks, we need water bottles. We hand out water bottles to adults, too, and the students. They're always hungry and thirsty after school, which is cool. Um, uh, even a glass of water in my name, Jesus said, right? So we, we will have a reward, right? So um, you always use things like that, snacks and games. Um, yeah, so water bottles. Um, maybe some clothing if it's in good repair, as long as it's clean. Uh, that could be helpful. Um, we need volunteers after school, so... If you had even 30 minutes once a week, you'd like to come down and just help us out and help do some cleaning, um, help talk to some people about Jesus, or just whatever, just be another body. Uh, preferably not just stand there, but whatever. Uh, I'm sure the God's Word will compel you to do something too, right? Because you're here. Uh, so any of those things, you guys are more than welcome. Um, we'd love to talk with you. Um, we'll be here after. We have a board set up in the back. Um, we uh, get handy. Work projects. Sorry, one of the brothers came down and he told me about putting the kitchen in downstairs. I was thinking, oh, hey. <laughs> Anyways, just a work project. So if any, if any of that stuff is your thing, I would love to talk with you. Uh, uh, even financially, um, we, we're looking for people. You know, if you have five bucks a month, we'd love to give toward, uh, toward people in the street hearing about Jesus. That'd be super helpful. Anything is cool. Uh, so, uh, so you can make checks out to you. Everything's done through our church, so. Uh, so checks go to Perth Bible Church, but then the memo line you put three one six, and it'll make sure that it goes right to the account that's designated for us and for ministry in the city. Um, checks or online, Perth Bible at Church. Uh, if you go to the ministries tab on the very front page, click ministries three one six, and that brings you to our page. And you just scroll down, you can find the give tab. We made sure to put this on here too. So thank you. So there it is, and then down the bottom. If you'd like to sign up for our newsletter, too, uh, we send out every two or three months, we just send out like a lot of pictures, not a whole lot of words, but there's some stuff uh, just sharing about how, how we're sharing Christ with these guys and the people that are getting saved, or kids that are growing, opportunities that are coming up. 
Um, so if you'd like to learn some more, you can sign up. We'd love to get your email and your stuff. We'll send you guys some cool pics. All right, so if you have any more questions, we'd love to talk to you. Uh, please pray for us. Just pray for, pray for our volunteers. That everyone will be encouraged. Uh, sickness, there's been a lot of that stuff going on, right? We want to be healthy so we can keep sharing. Sharing Jesus so we can close down right with the sickness. Um, and yeah, please just pray for our support raising. That's how we run everything, it's just by gifts. There's no, uh, if it doesn't come in, it's not happening, right? So, but God always provides, amen? amen. So, yeah, even five bucks a month, like I said. Or, uh, or if you want a really cool t shirt, uh, sign up for our dollar a day program. We'd love that, all right? <laughs> We will hook you up, all right? Just, just got me last week, or two, three weeks ago. So, um, we'll talk to you about that too. But please pray for us. It's, um, we want this stuff to be fruitful and that Jesus will be glorified, right? Yeah. Or anyone to get any credit except for us. So, thank you guys so much for the share. Please pray for us, and we'd love to speak to you guys after. Thank you.